How you doing, YouTube? And welcome to a brand new series on my channel that I am starting called Poke Palooza. As you guys may have guessed from the title, this Minecraft series is going to be about Pokemon. So the premise of this series is going to revolve around the... Oh, hello. I have a stalker. I shall call you Rose. <gasps> oh, shoot. So as you guys have probably guessed, this series is going to be revolving around the Pixelmon mod. So before we get our journey started, I thought I would take you guys on the grand tour of my house, which I had already built in creative mode. Zeranus has spawned in a forest hills biome. Okay, I thought I was just in a basic forest or something. Nope, turns out I'm in a forest hills biome. What the heck is that? Oh. I guess that must be Zeranus or Zarenia. Zerenius. Zerenius. Hey! It's a lady bar! Enough of my ADHD playing up with this episode. I am going to give you guys the grand tour of my place. First off, I have built a Pokemart that is connected to a Pokemon Center. That's all the way on the other side over there. But first, we are going to be touring this area which is a Poke Mart kind of design. This is only part of my house. This is where I go to purchase Pokeballs and potions and things like that. You guys are going to hear a lot of Pokemon noises going on in the background for the duration of this series. I'm sorry. There's really nothing I can do about that. I don't know how to buy... I don't know how to use these, um, these little shop... these little vending blocks with, um with Pokemon monies, so I decided to sell things for um, gold, which should kind of easily be collected when I'm doing cave mining and stuff like that, because this is going to be a regular Minecraft series, but it'll get interesting once I actually start on my Pokemon journey. I also found out that you can actually dye the PCs, so that way, whenever you catch a Pokemon, you can access the PC and it'll show you the Pokemon that you've caught that aren't currently in your inventory, and it'll allow you to switch between your main Pokemon. So yes, I have a whole set of different kinds of potions and heals so that whenever I need to, I don't know, unburn my Pokemon or unparalyze my Pokemon or to wake them up when they fall asleep due to hypnosis or a sleeping powder or whatever, I'm actually able to do that. Because I, cause I don't know how to spawn um, those uh, shopkeepers in here. Those are a little too complicated for me to handle. Over on the other side, we have the Pokemon Center. And I was going to spawn in a little um, NPC, kind of like fake Nurse Joy NPC. But, um, that was gonna take a little bit of work. I don't know why. I think she got deleted. Don't understand how, but we're just gonna roll with it. So, as you can see back here, we have the Pokemon... Whoops. As I was saying, I have the Pokemon Healer. I should be able to access it from a distance. Yep, I sure can. It looks and works exactly like, um, the ones in the games do. Which is kind of how they designed everything. Allow me to take you upstairs to show you my bedroom area. This is where I'm going to keep all of my storage. It's a bit empty right now, but that's okay because we are going to fill it up pretty quickly in this series. Now, I am also hoping to use this, um, this episode as an opportunity to showcase the mod a little bit. Not only do we have Pokemon that roam around here, but we also no longer have hostile mobs. Instead, um, all of the mobs, including the friendly ones, such as the cows and chickens and whatnot, they have all been replaced by Pokemon. I don't know why I keep doing that. <gasps> There's a butterfly. Oh my god, remind me I need to catch you, which is highly doubtful because you're at level 10. There's a Pidgey! So, what I have done is I have given myself a sleeping bag, which is from the Open Blocks mod, so that I am able to continue my journey without having to retreat to my home whenever it gets dark. So I am no longer in any danger whatsoever at night. So when you first open the game with this mod, you automatically get to choose your starter Pokémon. For example, as you can see in the corner over there, I have chosen Turtwig, because I like turtles. But I thought about doing something better with my um, 
Pokemon making skills. I thought that I would use this Pokemon editing wand to give me a different starter, because we're gonna get creative with this series, you guys. So what this editor does is it allows you to add any Pokemon into your Pokemon inventory, or you can change the Pokemon in your inventory. You can edit the Pokemon. So for example, this one is a Magikarp, so I will change it to Staryu. Whoops. I pressed enter. You don't press enter in these in these menus. Click the change Pokemon button and it'll automatically and immediately change your Pokemon. Another cool thing you can do is you can add levels to it. So say you wanted to make your star you level 2000 or 200,000, I think. I don't know how far this goes actually. But for right now, we're just going to leave it on level 5, because that's how all of your starter Pokémon start out. Nickname, I'm not going to give it a nickname because I like to have my Pokémon named the way that they are. You can choose between either Shiny or Normal. I'm going to go with Normal, because that's just basic. And you can decide on the size of the Pokémon. You can choose between Microscopic, Pygmy, Runt, Small, Ordinary, huge, giant, enormous, or ginormous. Just for the sake of argument, let's take a look and see what the ginormous looks like. You throw out your Pokemon by pressing R. You can also change you can also change the button for that, you know, in the controls menu. But for me, it's R. To send out and return. Oh look! As you can see, they've animated these Pokémon. Where exactly do you think you're going? Now, since I last played this mod, it was, um, about two or three years ago. These Pokémon were not as, um, they weren't as detailed as they were before. So, the detail has really changed. He really wants to go through this door. I'll let him. They've also added animations. As you can see, he's moving around. And these Pokémon, I think, follow you if you walk away. Look at that animation! Oh my god, I love that. I love the fact that he spins, just like, you know, earlier in the show. Staryu and Starmie were always my top favorite whenever I got further on in the series. I mean, my first favorite Pokémon, obviously, was coughing. But when I reached further into the series, I don't know, Staryu and Starmie always were my top faves. So, I'm going to choose Staryu as my starter Pokémon. Speaking of which, I'm going to edit his stats to make him, you know, not ginormous. I think I'll make him ordinary. Ah, much better. <laughs> there he goes. It's really weird, because um, they kind of moved away from this in the series, but originally... Um, in Staryu's first appearance when Ash was looking at the Pokedex, the Pokedex said that um, it had a core that came in different color. It had a jewelry core that came in multiple different colors, but it only appeared red throughout the show, and I think they decided to scrap the idea that Staryu's gem could be different colors, which I think is really a shame, but... That's just how things worked out. That's just my humble open yawn. So, I'm gonna do some more editing. Let's see, whenever you give yourself a Pokémon, they always get their, um, top, um, their top, uh, powers whenever you give yourself the Pokémon. So, I'm going to delete some of these, and I will keep Water Gun and Tackle, just to keep things, you know, fair. I don't know what import and export does, I don't want to do anything there, and here's something interesting. You can actually change the ball. See? Fast ball, lure ball, I think there's a friend ball, yep, there's a friend ball, ultra ball, maybe even GS. Oh my god. You can get the GS ball too. That's really cool. But for the time being, I'm just going to leave it in its regular Poke Ball. So, now that I have my starter Pokemon all figured out, I am going to put Turtwig in my PC so that I have plenty of room to capture other Pokemon. Also, um, once you're down to one Pokemon, you can't change its position or put it in the PC because you need to have a Pokemon in this game. It will not let you move it anywhere. See, it, it's not letting me... 
It's not letting me move it to the PC, and it's also not letting me move the slots. So, while you still have two Pokémon, you can still move things around and change their positions. But once you go down to one Pokémon, that's it. it. It's frozen there forever, until you get yourself uh, another Pokémon in a second slot. Now that you guys know how that works, I'm going to put this away because it's not really meant to be used, because I am about to go in survival. Now, as you guys can see, I have given myself some supplies already. For example, a sleeping bag and some food. Cooked salmon, because it has the highest hunger saturation. For some reason, in 1.12.2, they got rid of most of the things with hunger saturation so that they only fill up one of your hunger, which I think is the most ridiculously inefficient kind of adjustment to make to the game, but that's just my personal open yawn. I mean, some people might think it makes the game more challenging, but I just think it's annoyingly inefficient. Hello? Level 6. No, go away. I am not powerful enough to fight you yet. So, what I need right now... Oh, I need to start out with some Pokeballs. Pokeball... Here it is. I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is a good number to start out with, right? For the crafting table, I think I'll put it here. I need a pickaxe. Whoops. But I'm not going to make an axe just yet, because... You see, I have World Edit installed, and if I make a wooden axe, it's not really going to break any... Hello? As I was saying... I'm not going to make a... What the hell, was that Nabra? Maybe I should rename this series ADHD Palooza. Also, the world randomly spawns in these little plants. And you can't really eat these. These are for Pokemon. Oh, and you can plant them too. So there is going to be a lot of collecting these little plants in this series. I have no idea what this is. Do I mine it? No. Maybe it can't be mined with a pickaxe. What is this? It's a Pokeball. Bridge Mail S. Oh my gosh. You can write letters! I don't know what I would write, but, um... I'll keep it for later. I don't even know what you do with those. What's dying? Oh! Oh, they're having a Pokémon battle! I didn't know they could do that! I didn't know wild Pokémon could battle each other! That could that could pose a little bit of a problem. It's a teeny tiny Psyduck! Sounds like Squidward. Apple! Give me the apple! Oh, it's a Pidgey! Is it a Pidgey? It is a Pidgey! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Pidgey wants to fight. Oh no, he's level 9! Run away! I can't escape! <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Run! Oh my god. I escaped. I forgot. Pokemon can initiate battles with you. This means I need to find um, a, mining, a good mining spot right here. Because the further on you go... Ouch, the tougher the Pokemon get. Oh my gosh. Well, looks like uh, Staryu and I are about to start our Pokemon adventure. Without supplies. I got you, I got supplies. Uh-oh. No! I can't escape. No! Let me go! Oh my god, thank you. <gasps> oh. Well, I guess this was a bit of an accident, but it was a happy accident. And look! I found my first stone! It's a grass stone, but it's it's a stone nonetheless. I can't use it on Star You to turn it into Star Me. Achievement, Stone Age. I need all the stone I can get, because I need I need a furnace and I need tools. I think that's enough. Oh my gosh, and this lake is like right next to my house. This'll be perfect. I can see two stone. Lollipop, they're so cute. I will have one. <gasps> Bellsprout. Level 7. No, 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 no. Get the hell away from me. Taylo. But it's at level 8. I'm, I can't, I can't do that yet. Let's begin our Pokemon fight. Whoops. Oh no, it's in the water. I can't battle it while it's in the water. It could drown. Oh no. It still could drown. I need an empty hand. Great. I've got it. Oh no. I think I'm stuck. Guys, I'm stuck. Help me. Oh no. Oh no, where did it go? 
Oh no, it's still in the water! It's still in the water! I need to grab it. I need to grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, for crying out loud. Grab it! Gotcha! Don't fall in the water again! Pokemon die in there! Also, I need to battle you. Tackle! Good, it's not very effective, which means I will be able to get it. Tackle! It's weakening! It used to- <gasps> It's tackle so hard! What the heck? Okay, please let this tackle work. <gasps> oh no, it fainted! Oh no. Uh, well, at least I got some bones. So I can make bone meal. And I got raw beef. Oh my god. That proves I killed it. Uh, it it's not dead. He, ju he just fainted. Okay, guys, remember the, the thing said he fainted. And he just happened to drop some meat that he was holding in, in some sort of pouch. Okay, nobody died here today. Pokemon don't die, okay? They just faint. It's a perfectly normal reaction. Nobody panic! <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's level 7. No, 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 no. I should have kept that recovery power for Staryu. Why didn't I do that? Pidgey! <gasps> level 9. No. No, I think that's the same Pidgey that almost whooped my ass earlier. No, thank you. No in the thank you. Swaddle! Maybe... Maybe you can fight- <gasps> No, it's next to a Sweeper. That's level 10. I don't even know what half of these Pokemon are, because I I barely know anything from beyond the Johto thing, which is really sad, to be perfectly honest. I used to be obsessed with Pokemon when it first came out. I remember almost all of them from the first generation. Now, I don't know anything. <laughs> you know what happened? I think I know what happened. I stopped paying attention when Yu-Gi-Oh! came into the picture. That's what happened. And then later on, the Yu-Gi-Oh! game got too complicated, and I decided to let it all go. <gasps> oh! Swaddle wants to fight! Please don't kill it! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, please get in the Pokeball. Please get in the Pokeball. I got a, I got a swaddle. Star, you advanced to wait. What? No, Star, you was still at level five. I don't know what the hell just happened, but okay. There's another trainer over there. Hello. She's level eight. Nope. Oh my gosh, I just fell down again. What the hell's wrong with me? Bunnyery. I've seen these before, but I don't know. I forgot what they were called. It's level two. Fight my Star, you. Um, tackle. Uh, tackle. <gasps> Please don't. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, bag. Pokeball, go. Oh my gosh! Please let me have this. It's so cute and fluffy. <gasps> yes. Apricots. No, apri apricorns. Apricorns. You can use these to make Pokeballs. At least, um, in my world you can. They don't really make Pokeballs in my- in, uh, Pixelmon. But, here's what I have. You can buy one of these Pokeballs making one of these discs. And here's how to make it. You use cooked apricorn. How I just banged my wrist against something. Anyway. Yeah. You can make these with apricorns, and these don't really make anything. I don't really know what these discs are really used for. I know they're Pokeball discs, but I don't really understand what they're used for. Yeah, because it shows me what all the other uses are, but it doesn't tell me what I can use this for. Yeah, it, it doesn't, it won't tell me. Apparently they're not really used for anything, they're just there. But I do remember in the Pokemon games, if you collected Apricorns and you took them to um, this guy who uh, makes Pokeballs, he used the Apricorns to make the, make the balls. So I did something similar with a unique trade system so that if I make the discs, 
I can buy the Pokeballs. And I made each disc with their corresponding Pokeball. Except for the, uh, the regular vanilla Pokeball. I just, I just need to buy those. I don't really need to, you know, collect a whole bunch of apricots just to get these things. Because, come on. I mean, you start out with these things. You know what I just realized? I don't have any torches with me. Well, you know what? This is an emergency. I couldn't find any coal nearby, so... And all is right with the world. Oh! Rubies! These could actually come in handy. I should be nearing a cave system, so I should be going... This way. Oh shoot, gravel. My favorite thing in Minecraft. Not. But hey! It led me to a cave system! Now I just need more torches. Yes! Now I can see things! We've found some fairy dust ore! You know what that means! We can craft some wings! Ordinarily this cave would terrify me, as it would be full of mobs. But now that I know, it's only full of Pokémon who only want to kill my Staryu. Wait, that's not comforting news at all. It's a Geodude! I have no idea what its level is, though. It's a level 10! Oh my god. Oh, another interesting thing about the Pixelmon mod, unlike the games, when you capture a Pokemon, it automatically regains all of its HP. Maybe I won't have too much of a problem with him, because Staryu's a water type, and his most powerful attack right now is Water Gun. A few inches later. I, I'm not gonna risk it, 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 I'm not gonna risk it. This is getting pretty... Oh my god, what the heck was that? I can't really understand what some of the Pokémon are saying, because... I have one of my earphones out of my ear so that I can hear my own voice. So that I can know to control my volume while talking to you guys. I can't really understand what that Pokémon is saying. Can you guys understand it? It's disembodied. I don't know what it is, but it's creepy. <gasps> I hear a Diglett! They also dwell around here in the caves. And they're cute as... I can't tell if it's a Pikachu or something saying mushy. However, I am running out of... What the f*** is that? Oh, it's one of those things with... Oh, Sableye. That, that's what was making the creepy noises. But it's level 10. I don't want to... I don't want to tango with that. If I want to find gold, I think I have to go further down than up. What's that? Is that a Diglett? It is! It's a cute little Diglett! I don't know what level it is. I am not sure I want to face it. It's surrounded by water. It's a level 10. Why is everything down here level frickin' 10? It's another level 10! Aya, aya, it's following me. It wants to battle. In the water, in the water! Jinkies! Run away, run away, run away. Oh, shoot. A Diglett got me. I need to run. Staryu is trapped. It cannot flee. What? Water gun. Uh, water gun. Diglett fainted. And all I got was dirt? Seriously? Discard. Fortunately, I don't need to make any swords or anything, because there's nothing here to fight except Pokémon with other Pokémon. So, there's really no need for a sword or a bow and arrow. Really, this is really cool. It would be cool if I actually found some diamonds so that I could, you know, make the tools that I need with diamonds instead of just iron. Wouldn't that be cool if I could actually make diamond tools on my first episode? It's interesting how there aren't any lava Pokémon around here, you know, like Magmar and... Um, some other small volca volcano-looking Pokémon. I don't really know what it is. I, I know I've seen it, I just... know that it exists. More Amethyst! Yay! Maybe I should sell for iron instead, because gold is... Getting pretty hard to come across. It's a hoot hoot! Oh my gosh, I need that. Okay, I gotta enter the door. Heal my Pokemon up. Come on, come on, there we go. 
Now my star you can challenge the hoot hoot. Oh shoot. It flew up. Yes. I get to fight the hoot hoot. Tackle. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, uh, bag, Pokeball. I have four. Pokeball go. Okay, capture it, capture it, capture it. It's in red, it's in the red. Oh my gosh, yes. I actually caught the hoot hoot. Yay! The only sad thing about this game is that it doesn't actually have any of the effects or anything, you know, with Pokemon attacks. Like, if you choose a Pokemon attack, the Pokemon don't really do anything. They don't really show their attacks, but, um... At least they're fun to look at. Like this cute little ladybug. Aww. Ladybug. He's hopping. Trying to get up to that level. Well, I think that's good enough for today's episode. Staryu and I will bid you farewell for right now. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.